generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a refreshing lemon and lime juice drink. Very nice indeed. Unlike the previous beverage in the last episode where I didn't even touch it because we were too busy building, well, quite frankly, the majority of this. So we got in uh, the kennel, the armory, all of the foundations that go along, which also make up things like the visitation, the chapel, laundry, cleaning cupboard, the... Um, Oh, what's it called? A classroom, uh, unknown building of some description, and then all the stuff down the bottom here as well. We also overhauled the cell blocks to have the showers in the cells, as well as sort out the security room in the middle with some solitary. So overall, pretty happy, very happy with our progress, and we have set to get a total of 18 maximum security prisoners in the next 9 hours and 7 minutes. Before we get them, though, we do need to sort out our regime. So let's go ahead and sort that one out. So we're going to go with a standard regime, echo standard, the one I tend to use, which is, uh, from memory, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of free time, uh, sorry, of sleep time, we'll have then an hour of free time, which they can use to shower, because they have got a shower in their own cell now, we then go for uh, eat time, we're also not going to do yard time, there's no point, if they want to go in the yard, they can go in the yard, and then we get one, two, three, four, hours of work slash free time and then one two three four hours of uh, work slash free time lock up will go in the middle oh, sorry work slash lock up will go in the middle followed by an hour of free time and then we'll go for sleep there and actually no not sleep there we'll go for another eat uh, there and there and then free time there so very strange in terms of regime i know but it is what it is in fact no eat can go i'll tell you what eat can go in maybe there, followed by two hours of free time at night. It's very strange giving them two hours of free time at night. I uh, guess, the thing is, if you have, like, eight hours of sleep, they just don't, they just sit around doing nothing. Um, they, uh, well, they'll be in sleep time, but they're just locked up in the cell. They'll just sort of wander around and get bored. So, that's the very basic one for now. So, for our, um, our policy then, uh, everything, uh, you know what, we'll go with default for now, we'll go with default for now, um, however, you, if, you will be searched, you will be searched if you do anything, basically, if, uh, if you, you know what, if you do anything, you get searched, including your cell. Why not? There's no reason not to. We have the staffing. In fact, we have more staff than we have prisoners arriving shortly. Uh, I'm going to put in some more capacitors because, quite frankly, this thing is running a little bit high on the power requirement there. There is a Polaroid. It's number 9 of 177. Looks like a janitor mopping the floor there. Brilliant. Is it going to, I was going to say, is it going to permanently stay there, or is it going to go? No, it is fine. So, there we are. Uh, so, what have we got to complete? Well, we don't have all of the medical beds in here. I'm going to plus, place a couple in there, but we do need some more. I've not put the flooring in the kennel of the armory, nor have I built the parole, which we don't need to until later on anyway. Bit of flooring going around here, obviously three full cell blocks to sort kitchen to be expanded upon at some point and the main one is protective custody if we have someone arrive and they are in need of protective custody we need to be able to protect them so what are we going to do about that well i'm going to build it so we have an entrance here which will become a well this will be a hmm could that just be a 4x4? Four four. That'll be security room. And then we're going to have cells that will go along here. And let's see about maybe a 3x3. Three three. No, maybe not. What about, what about just building them as a 4x4? Four four? Uh, no, that's too big. We don't need the cells that size. Um, so 3x3 three three along there. And 3. Uh, the problem with that, though, is that we then don't where they're not able to fit a couple of the other extras that we need, because I want to have somewhere around here two, four, six, eight protective custody. I want to have, this is a security room in the way in, and then this area is like, this will be a common room, and this will be a little canteen. Uh, can we do that? <clears throat> yeah, we can. Okay. I'm gonna 
mark that up as the potential plan. Let's see if it actually happens. Four grand remaining. Enough to think about... Well, we have a little issue. I don't have any way to control, like, the doors. We don't have a door control system. So, I'm actually going to dismantle that door as well and put it to the left there. Because I want another door there. So, brick wall will go there. Takes a while to build the door on normal speed. <laughs> there you go. Followed by the door, we've just ripped off the hinges to go in there. So, as I was saying, um, yeah, I don't have anywhere to put in a door servo or door control system or a phone tap. I mean, I could technically place it anywhere we want. Armory seems like the most logical place. I think so. Is the dog having a bit of a dream there? I think they are. Uh, okay, let's put a phone tap in. And a door control system. There they're in now. Connect them up. And I'll put in some automat automated doors on one, two, three, four areas. I think that's what we'll do. It's mainly the entrance is the main issue. Double check and deployment once again. It's yeah, it has changed a bit, so we'll change that. Access only. It's not really doesn't really matter to be honest. The whole access only thing. Um, that's all fine. I could have a dog patrol along here. Yeah, that's probably probably the way to go. Just in case anyone tries to run through like here, at least we can stop them. Spending 4,400 per day. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. But we've got patrols in here. We've got patrols outside. Armed guard patrolling outside. Patrols in the canteen. What am I missing? There's something I'm... It feels like I'm missing. Intelligence. Sense of humour. Skill. All of those we know. But I'm not really too sure. If there's anything I've truly missed. I'm placing some weights benches in the... In the yard. <laughs> Literally a couple of weight benches. I can't even afford the other side. But within the next hour... We're going to get our prisoners. And I think that daily cash flow will go... Well, it's... I don't think it'll go to... It might go to positive. We'll have to see. But we have... Our prisoners arriving. And here we go. Our first set of prisoners. Lots of unknown reputations I'm seeing. Obviously gang members as well. Daily cash flow. Still negative. But obviously because of the arrivals. We're now getting money as they come in. How much does it... I think it tells you. Max sec. P the payment is a grand for taking that in. So we're getting 18 grand by them just arriving. Okay. We've got strong... And tough and gang member. And the rest of them are completely unknown. But there's the prisoners coming in. Our first intake. Bill brought scissors. You can hear the dog sniffing away up there. And now... This guard is handing out the uniforms. So there's our intake. Okay. So, 
utilities connections, phone tap. We'll connect up the phone tap. One, two, three, four, five places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. It'll need to go in around here as well. Danger level is increasing. But low. Three prisoners are shackled in the cells in solitary. That's because they've had stuff in on them, on the person when they've been brought in. Three prisoners suppressed and compliant. That's due to the armed guards. Um, three armed guards are on in service. That increases the danger level artificially. And 11 prisoners have been unnecessarily searched. Well, that's their opinion. It's standard procedure to search an inmate into the facility. But there you go. Uh, but we can now pick up... Hang on. Well, we can't. Crack down on drugs, you need at least 30 prisoners. Okay. How curious. So we need more prisoners. We can do that at some point. Um, in the meantime, let's finish off what I was going to do around here. So it was four weights benches, four weights benches. Similar thing, uh, similar thing there. Um... I mean, I could put, like, tables and stuff in here. But I don't think it's strictly necessary. They can just use it as a, a running thing. So, phone booths, I'm going to place in here. And this will be a common room. What can what common room can go in here? Oh, you know what we can do for a common room? Uh, common room. For this, it says pool tables and benches. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Got arcade cabinets, but I don't think that's... I think arcade cabinets is for the staff. Not too bothered about door control sitter being placed in there. But bookshelves. It's not going to be a library, really. But we can have bookshelves on one side. And I could fit a pool table. <laughs> yeah, it, it's literally a full-size pool table. is going to fill the place up. What needs need to be fulfilled? Entertainment. And... What else could be fulfilled? Well, we don't need... Let's have a look at needs. We've got... Family. Phones. Yeah, I think can sort that out. Recreation. Yeah. Okay. I think. Jenny, we just fill it with bookshelves. Let's see how that goes. We can always alter it later on, can't we? So we're still at negative daily cash flow. Which is an issue. We've got prisoners actually working. Oh, potential CI. Darn it. I just saw the potential CI. And then as I went to try and recruit them they finished their little sentence, which was basically just, uh, they've been there in two hours because of the, because of the shakedown when they were brought in. Okay, fine. So, let's think about this. Quick build, cloning. Ah. Oh. So, <laughs> it's the old sky, the old style cloning, where... For cloning, there is, for whatever reason, whether it be a design decision or a technical decision, you can only clone a certain bit. That's as far as we can clone. Is that a 10 by 10 grid? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 by 12 grid. We can only clone a 12 by 12 grid. So to clone this, we'd have to do 1, 2, 3, 6 sections. So I don't think you can go... No, you can't go... Yeah. So we'd have to do six sections. Whereas, obviously, in the current prison architect, you can clone as much as you want, you can rotate it, and you can flip it. Which is an amazing thing. Alright. Okay. Looks like these are working in the laundry. That guy's got a mop. Salmon Gildage, prison number 6839290. Armed robbery and burglary. Let's have a look around. Augie, the leak stopper. Zaranti, attempt to murder and assault. 
Archduke Mansfield, Grievous Bodily Harm, Hurricane Whiplash Johnson, Murder, Assault, Two Sets of Violent Disorder, Mike the Pipe Stamps, Aggravated Assault, Grievous Bodily Harm, Assault, Assaulting an Officer, Grievous Bodily Harm, He's already served for possession, assaulting an officer, and assault. Wow. Pie and a pie. Pie and a off. Murder, 25 year. Right. Okay. Casper Carr, Groob. Grievous bodily harm and assault. And our gang member, Scott Danner. Gang member. There you go. We've got two gang members. One green, one blue. There's no lieutenants or lieutenants. And no leaders. So, not something I'm concerned with. Oh! They can't take over this common room. I wonder why. Maybe it has to be a certain size. Who knows? Oh! Simon's got SIGs. So, their class is... L oh, solitary! Really? Really? Okay. Uh. Oh, well, yeah. Found drug. No, they can't be. I thought they would be classed as luxury. Hang on. Found drugs. Oh. Hang on then. Sigs. Uh. Okay. I thought they would have been classed as luxuries. Anyway, it matters not. So, what do we need to do? Well, <clears throat> we need to find out more about our... <laughs> I like that with that one there. We don't know what he is in terms of his uh, his reputations. Unknown reputation. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say green gang member, mate. <laughs> Technically, you can have others. Anyway, so, where do we need to go from here? Well, we need another building, don't we? <laughs> yep, we need another building. So, I'm going to build... I'm going to build this one, because it means I can pretty much just clone off it. Like, I won't be cloning this, most likely. Actually, I could do, couldn't I? There's nothing stopping me. But... We may end up, uh... Is that the middle? It's going to be the middle, of course. It's going to be the middle. It's where the 20 is. Let me just measure it. 10 from there. 10 from there. Yeah, we're sound. Okay. So, build this. Slight issue with that, though. Um, We've got two grand, and we're losing money per day. So, I need to get some more money, and... How am I going to do that? Well... We're getting a bank loan. We'll take out a bank loan of most likely 50 grand. There we go. Which obviously is going to decrease our daily cash flow. But it means we can start cloning. So quick build and clone. I'm going to be very careful on how I do this. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't demolish half of what we've built. But inevitably, it probably will. So. That's built along there. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to cancel the construction of the lights. There's no reason to do that. However, quick build, clone. There. And from there, along. Which is there. And this along. There. From this section. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Ha-ho. <laughs> right. Okay. I didn't realise it was going to drag like that. Where have we built to? It's that, isn't it? Is it that? I think it's that. Yes, it does fit in. You get this wrong. And... Potentially a lot of money wasted. Right, there's 30 grand spent. Obviously, it's designated them as cells. It's put all the other stuff in. It's just going to take some time to build. And they may even start demolishing walls. They shouldn't. But then there's a lot of things 
they shouldn't do in the game. Um, oh, that jail door should be locked open. Yes. Good. Well, danger level's low. We don't have any big issues there. Um, I think we should probably sort the staff room out, quite frankly. Oh, do we need to? Uh, needs. We don't have staff needs. All that happens is they need to rest. See that bar there? That bar just slowly goes up when they rest in the staff room. So that we don't have to... They don't have individual needs like the prisoners. They can have individual needs. You just need to turn that on. And we decided not to when we built the facility. Because quite frankly, it would almost certainly glitch out when we need a myriad of... Uh, <laughs> uh, a myriad of... Food. And other such needs. Too filled. It's the food trays that's a problem. There's a glitch with food trays, and it seems to be back and forward in and out of the game since time immemorial. Yeah, it's just a constant issue that you face. Um, I've, as you can see, I've I've ordered and now prioritised the construction of the door servos. Um, oh, I was going to say, why are we getting some more prisoners? But apparently, we have built five cells. <laughs> So that's why. Good grief, look at this. Um, that's a lot of stuff they need to install. Uh, for now, do I get more? No, I can't really afford to buy more workers. And at this stage, when the work's pretty much done, it seems a bit redundant to go ahead and do that. Looks like everyone's have a nice brekkie there. Which is good. Strong, stalker, tough, gang member. Lots of unknowns. On the phone. We do have a phone tap. Oh, there we go. So the phone tap, I think, kicked in there. Extremely strong and fearless. Stalker and gang member. There you go. Oh, is that um, the green gang member? Yeah. So I did say that they can have other traits. And yet they have stalker as well as gang member. So there we are. Um, let me just finish off max speed. I've put these on priority. You hold control and click and drag over it. But so far, they ain't, taken, they ain't paid any attention to that. Oh no, they have just started doing it. Brilliant. Connections from here to there. That's one door automatic, two door automatic. Which means a lot quicker traversal in the facility. Straight through there, no problem. Well, go up to the door, press the button, beep, goes back to here. Other noises of communication with the base station are available, other than beeps. But yes, it uh, it tells the controller, currently occupying the door control system, to pop open the door. Oh, dog's barking there, looks like they smelt something. And this is the dwarf, apparently. Sinuk the dwarf. Talc Axe, 6838793 as their prisoner number. Lots of convictions. 44 years incarceration. 10 years hard labour. Oh, and prisoner bus turn up. Okay. So, uh, have they, they still haven't built this door servo. I don't know why. I'm not too concerned with it though, but there you are. Go to informants. Gangs. Oh, we got one of each gang member now. And they're in there. <laughs> How are we doing for power? Power's fine. Oh, oh, it's kicking off. It's kicking off. And there we go. John 7-bit nut and belt. I think, do they work for... At an introversion? Do, did. Could be making that up. Sounds about right. Um, there were a snitch. Well, we didn't know. And Scott King's almost certainly done that. Yeah. Attack prisoner, attack staff, found weapons. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Extremely tough, strong gang member, skill fighters, all that sort of thing. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, dog servo is now in place. So I can connect it up. As people had commented, you can see now they're getting taken straight away to the hearse. So there's no point in the morgue. It's an aesthetic thing, really. And habit as well. But no, you don't need one. Unless you've got some weird convoluted system of, uh, of like security around the system, uh, around the prison, and f it takes ages for people to go around the facility. In terms of food, I think we're all right. Yeah, it seems to be okay. All right, so we're going to leave it there. It's been a bit of prison architect. We've got prisoners. Let's see if any of them. No, no one wants to become a confidential informant. So we've got prisoners. 24. Oh, I'm at a maximum of 29. Five more arriving shortly. And we're building this other cell block. What does it mean? Well, when we get prisoners, we need to keep looking after the needs. Make sure things are secure. If we ever get someone who is in danger for whatever reason, like a snitch, which we didn't know about that one. It was an unknown trait. We checked just before. Unless I've missed it. Highly possible. But, under normal circumstances, yeah, we shouldn't need the uh, protective custody, but we will have one. So if someone comes in, we need to sort that out. Other than that, we've got some flooring to put in, we've got some expansion to do, we've got parole to put in, we've got two more cell blocks, we've got expansion down the south, which will include a lot of the buildings that we just don't have, so things like shop, mail room, uh, library, as well as workshops for, um, well, for, well, for workshops and also forestry as well. So we are far from completion. I'm just concerned about the money that we're spending. Even with the next arrivals, I don't know if we'll be in positive or not. But we shall see. Either way, just going to quickly run the utilities, which includes water and power. And then we'll leave it there. Next episode, I will need to put uh, patrols around here because we haven't got any. So we'll sort that out as well. Either way, that's been a bit of Prison Architect. Hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.